Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, I'm here with baby Nigel. Baby Nigel. Sound like I should say that nasally. Baby Nigel. <laughs> His name sounds like it should be nasally said. <laughs> um, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you do so by smashing that red subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell so that you can be a part of the notification squad. If you have not joined the chat box, then you're missing out. The link is in the description bar. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join and it is a dollar and 99 cents a month so that I can get my fries, yas, um, to join. Um, what do you get for your dollar 99? Just exclusive, uh, exclusive, a guaranteed exclusive live stream at least once a month where we hang out and chat about whatever. Now. <laughs> Let the truth be told, every now and then I might slide an extra live stream or in or a video or an also little post here and there updates of what's going on um, as well. <clears throat> I try to sometimes let the chatterbox be the first to know things, but that don't always work out because, you know, I'm an oversharer. Uh, <laughs> which is why I'm on YouTube because I'm sharing all my business. Um, but yeah, I was just thinking today, I was like, you know... Everybody is still in this state of mind of, you know what? Serena is going to sell one of those babies eventually. And now that she's had three, three willows, she is going to sell a baby, one of them, eventually. And everybody is, like, <laughs> betting against each other on, you know, like, who's my favorite and all that. And I love all my babies. Every single baby that comes through my collection pretty much. It's something about them that drew me in to them. Um, for the most part, 90% of the babies that I have gotten have been as I seen them to be on picture. Sometimes I feel differently when I see them in person just because maybe I just do. Um, but, you know, the one thing that I've learned to is box openings can be so overrated. Like, you do the box opening, you're very excited because you're finally getting to see your money in person. Yes, I did say money. And you're finally, like, it's like exciting and it's something new and you know that people love box openings. So you want it to be great, you want it to be lavish, you want, you know, every it to be everything. So you open up the box and you're like, <gasps> You know, some people even like have this premeditated, oh my God, oh, it's so cute. It's beautiful. Like, you know, it's like you haven't even took the clothes off yet. You haven't even unwrapped it yet. How do you know? Like, it's like, oh my God, this baby is so beautiful. But, and then five seconds later, then they flip the thing up and it's like, oh, you knew that. Wow. Psychic vision. So, <laughs> It's, it's, it's not that, I will say, it's not that every time they're being fake, it's just the excitement, the adrenaline that flows with box openings. And that's why we're addicted to getting new babies, because it gives you a rush, okay? So, sometimes you love the baby so much, and then people be like, oh, like, you know, some of my friends be like, oh, it's the honeymoon over, or the newness wore off type thing. And... I mean, it is. It's, it's true. Um, you know, in the beginning, you're really, really excited and you are, you know, you're. It's new. It's something new, new baby, exciting, exciting, exciting. After a couple months go by or a couple weeks, some people, a couple days, it's like, OK, if you're not that excited about it anymore, then, you know, it was just the rush. Um, also, as you get new babies in, and when you get the new baby in, and then you start to feel some type of way about the last baby, you know that maybe it wasn't as strong as you thought. When a baby can last through many other box, box openings after them, then you probably really did like that baby. So, um, I say this to say... A lot of people be like, oh, that's so fake. She said the other one was her best. That was her favorite. Of course, it's going to be your favorite. Of course, it's going to be the best at that point because you haven't seen what's to come next. So, you know, 
don't be so quick to judge people when they say that because I know for a fact that I have been like oh my god this I'll never have a baby as good as this baby I love this baby this is the best baby in the world oh my gosh oh my gosh you know blah 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 blah, blah. and then next box opening oh my god this this one is my all-time favorite it's like well what you just said that the last time so yeah so it's so many different things but I mean just enjoy the moment you know if you're the receiver or if you're just the person that's watching enjoy the moment you know whatever you know now you know you know the box openings where the people are crying and then they got to push the camera up to their face to show that they're crying look guys i'm crying it's like oh my god look look at these tears it's like okay <laughs> Um, I don't know if that's real tears there, but okay. Did you drop some eye drops in there? No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, so, but it's, it's just so many different facets to this, this hobby and collecting. But I have found that I don't necessarily enjoy box openings as much as I used to, um, for me doing them. You know, sometimes I want to share the moment with, with you guys. I want to do a live box opening so that you guys can get a live reaction. Um, and those can be scary. <laughs> but um, to me, it takes away from me. Like, I don't get to, like, really look at the baby. Like, you know, I don't get to take that moment and, you know... I've gotten to the point where now I'm kind of like, y'all just going to have to bear with me. You know, I'm I'm going to look at this doll completely. Like, I'm not going to sit here and try to talk to y'all. I'm doing my box opening. You guys just happen to be watching me film it type thing. Because before, I would be so into trying to make sure the angle is right and this and that. And can you guys see and all this. So, I don't know. I, I say all that to say that... Um... Although I love box openings, watching box openings, I don't enjoy doing them as much as I used to in the beginning. And that's the funny thing because seven years ago, I started my channel just to do box openings. That was really the only thing I was going to do on my channel was just box openings. Can you imagine that? I was only going to do when I get a box opening because I was following this lady um, and I thought her channel was so amazing and she was encouraging me to um, to do box openings too. And I was like, I don't know, I'm nervous. I don't think I can do it, I'm too scared. And so you guys will see if you go back to my oldest video. Um, we had just, well, we, we had bought this house for a while and we hadn't moved in, but I just moved in. My master bedroom was completely empty. I ran upstairs to open my first doll. I sat on the floor, I had my phone. I was doing one hand type thing, no tripod, no nothing. And it was all over the place. I had to keep putting the camera down to the floor, it's carpet and everything and it was it was crazy, but it was um it was it was it was so amazing. It was my first time really seeing a real and I don't I don't want to say real because the first doll reborn that I got was um Walter by Laura Tudor Ross um painted by Connie Prince I will never forget and Connie Prince was so amazing um uh, it was on eBay I, I got a second chance offer and she was so amazing because I was a new collector and I had so many questions and she was she answered them she get volunteer information she said you know what if you have questions don't you know don't hesitate to ask Ask, ask me and you know we emailed back and forth a little bit and stuff and she was just really great he had amazing rooted hair um I will never forget it was Delta Dawn more hair um when Delta Dawn was good hair more hair lately I've heard that it's gone to trash but I'm not sure so allegedly um it's garbage now but that's allegedly um but anyway um Delta Dawn was the popular thing back then um the hair um, her something caught on fire or something, her barn or whatever caught on fire. And after that, 
I don't know if she ever recovered. Like everything was never the same really from what I heard. But so that's tragic, you know. But anyway, um, but nevertheless, um, that was my first doll. But he was really like plain Jane. Like he didn't have like no real modeling and everything. I don't know if he was airbrushed or not because now thinking, looking back at it, I could see that he... I, I could think that maybe he could have been airbrushed or something. But he was so smooth. I was really excited about him, too. Um, but I knew he wasn't, you know, like the most detailed ones, like the ones to today or the ones that I wanted to collect. But he was what I could afford. I knew that he wasn't like the ones that I really, really first started looking at because I couldn't afford those. Like, he was like a hundred and something dollars I think or something like that and the ones that I was really like like was 500 and up so that's what I could afford so that's what I got so um anyway um so the first box opening that I did because I didn't do that one on camera so the first actual box opening I did of London was um the first time I seen a doll with so much modeling and stuff like that and I was so like excited and just so impressed with her work and stuff and her hair was really nice and stuff um she did have some shedding in her hair like immediately like or whatever and I did contact the artist the artist was not you know I don't know it was kind of like the blame game but I was new I was just like you know what don't worry about it you know whatever and I love London London was my prize and pride and joy for a long time she was the prize of the nursery um but yeah that's that's basically where I started with box openings and I just I thought that that was gonna be the base of my channel I never thought that I would sit and you know talk or something and I was excited when like I had like 10 subscribers I was even more excited when I when I reached like 100 subscribers oh my god guys you guys would have thought I had got that you know a hundred thousand dollar I mean, $100,000. Oh, everything always goes to money. 100000 sub plaque. Like, I was like, I got 100 subscribers, you know, type thing. It's 100 people watching me. You know, I got 100 subscribers and 12 views in, you know, four weeks. I was winning. It's people was looking at my box opening, guys. My box opening. So that was that. I, you know, it's just funny. But I never really put a lot of emphasis on on um, the actual, like, my, how many subscribers I had and stuff like that. I just wanted, I just didn't want to be making recordings and nobody was watching, if that makes sense. So it wasn't like I was, like, trying to get subscribers. I just wanted someone to share with and someone to comment back and forth with about the hobby and stuff like that. So it was pretty cool. So that's where I started. But... Now, I'm not so much into the box openings like that, and I don't know, I'm just, it's so much changed. I, I was excited, I used to love to get nice things in the boxes and stuff like that. I used to be looking at stuff and saying, oh, she sends really nice stuff in her box openings and all this and stuff. I was, you know, everything has changed so much over time, and I think, you know, that's just life, you know, life don't stand still. People change, things change. And I was supposed to be feeding you a bottle and I never did, right? But that's what I do. I, I get distracted and I forget. <laughs> but um yeah, so yeah, so that was that was that, but it was it was pretty cool. Um one other thing I realized that um not only with collectors things change but artists change too you know i've seen where people artists in the forums go hard against certain things and stuff and then later they're you know all for it so you know i think we just have to live in the moment and love what we love at the, at the moment in in that moment and you know don't beat yourself up if <laughs> you look back and you look like a hypocrite because you hated those things back when and now you love them so you know, I guess that's that's the way it go, right? I guess so. 
anyway thanks guys for watching i don't know why and i diff i don't even know if i talked about what i was supposed to talk about but whatever anyway guys bye